So just taking a look at China's economy, um, it's the second largest economy in the world behind the United States and has shown exceptional growth over the past um, four decades or so. Growth has been about 10% um, year on year over this period and um, China has been able to lift over 800 million people out of poverty and into the middle class. China accounted for 37% of the world's um, total economic growth uh, between 2010 and 2019. So it's just an amazing growth story and it's often called um, an economic miracle, just speaking to the size um, of growth over the past four decades or so. However, historically growth has been um, based on highly resource intensive, um, high volumes of exports and all on the back of low paid labor, which has obviously been a, you know, a strong driver for growth and created the economic superpower that China is. But it has also resulted in a number of economic, social and environmental imbalances. So now what we're seeing with China's economy is that they're addressing some of these rebalances and growth is shifting now um, from that high, sp high speed growth model to a more high quality um, inclusive growth. <clears throat> Along with this, we're seeing a real um, shift in, in the Chinese consumer. The middle class is growing and household incomes are, are growing quite, quite rapidly. So um, along with this, consumer spending is um, reaching all time highs. Um, then just again, speaking to the growth in uh, China and also in the emerging Asia region, um, the graph on the slide shows emerging Asia in, in yellow there, and it shows the region's share of global GDP. And you can see how that's just been expanding over the past uh, few decades, and that trend is expected to continue well into the future. Then looking at China's equity market, um, so it has the second largest equity market in the world, um, valued at a market capitalization of roughly $18 trillion. So really, really large, just behind um, the US equity market. Um, China represents the largest portion of the MSCI Emerging Market Index, um, and this is also expected to increase over the next, um, over the coming years. But despite its dominance in the Emerging Market Index and um, despite its size, it's still relatively underrepresented in um, investor portfolios and quite underrepresented in broad market uh, indices such as your MSCI or Country World Index. And actually also um, when you take the full China economy into account, actually quite underrepresented in the MSCI Emerging Market as well. So analysts believe that um, the allocations in these major benchmarks um, will increase in the next um, few years. Um, and some accounts um, will, will have predicted that um, China should represent over 40% of the emerging market index over the next five years and roughly um, a fifth of the whole country world index. <clears throat> 